मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वी आर डिस्कसिंग एरियल स्टेम मॉडिफिकेशन राइट इन एरियल स्टेम मॉडिफिकेशन वी कंप्लीटेड स्टेम टेनरल थॉन्स हुक्स फिलो क्लेड राइट नाउ वी आर गोइंग फॉर राइट लास्ट वन दर इज नंबर फाइव बलबिल्स वाट्स बलबिल्स सर दिस बलबिल्स दे आर एरियल स्टेम मॉडिफिकेशन राइट सर इज इट बल्ब और बलबिल 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 इज ए एरियल स्टेम मॉडिफिकेशन वेर एज बल्ब इज ए अंडरग्राउंड स्टेम मॉडिफिकेशन राइट सर दिस बलबिल इज ए एरियल स्टेम मॉडिफिकेशन यूज फॉर वेजिटेटिव प्रॉपगेशन used for what sir vegetative propagation is this statement okay right therefore bulbil used for what sir vegetative propagation sir vegetative propagation can be called as vegetative reproduction yes or no right sir this bulbil right uh, performs two functions this bulbil performs how many functions sir two functions performs uh, how many functions sir two functions sir what are that two functions sir first one is a uh, stores food materials stores what sir stores uh, food materials stores uh, food materials right uh, and second one is a uh, used for vegetative reproduction is it okay used for what sir used for vegetative reproduction right sir this bulbil is developed either from vegetative bud or from floral bud therefore bulbil developed bulbil developed bulbil is developed from which bud sir it is developed either from vegetative bud it is developed either from vegetative bud or from floral bud developed either from vegetative bud or from floral bud is this statement so okay right now sir we are discussing bulbils right now go for examples of bulbils examples of bulbils first one is dioscorea what are the first example dioscorea second one is agave what is the second example agave and third one is globa globa right therefore bulbils examples dioscorea agave and globa sir in dioscorea vegetative reproduction takes place by bulbils in agave vegetative reproduction by bulbils in globa vegetative reproduction by bulbils yes or no because in all the three cases there is dioscorea agave and globa bulbils are present bulbils are used for vegetative reproduction is this statement okay right go for the first example what it is dioscorea what is a first example dioscorea dioscorea now listen here sir in dioscorea right this is a stem this is stem this is a node what is this one node right sir from node what should come sir leaf leaf should come yes or no right now listen here sir this is a stem this is leaf right then what is this one axil this axil contains which bud sir axillary bud this axil contains which bud sir axillary bud axil contains which bud sir axillary bud now you tell me sir this axillary bud uh, is associated with a uh, stem and a leaf yes or no stem is a vegetative organ leaf is also vegetative organ so this axillary bud becomes a vegetative bud
सर दिस इज स्टिल दिस इज लीफ दिस इज एक्सिल एक्सिल वॉट इज दिस वन एक्सिल वॉट इज दिस बर्ड कॉल एज एक्सिलरी बर्ड सर दिस एक्सिलरी बर्ड इज असोसिएटेड विथ स्टेम एंड लीफ एस आर नो सर दिस एक्सिलरी बर्ड इज असोसिएटेड विथ स्टेम वेजिटेटिव ऑर्गन लीफ वेजिटेटिव ऑर्गन सो आई एम कॉलिंग दिस एक्सिलरी बर्ड एज वॉट सर वेजिटेटिव बर्ड what is this one here vegetative bird is this statement okay right now listen this statement sir now this is which bird vegetative bird sir this vegetative bird stores food materials and it develops into a condensed branch this vegetative bird stored food materials and developed into a condensed branch this vegetative bud which has stored food materials and developed into a condensed branch is called as bulbil what it is called as a bulbil is this statement okay sir when this bulbil reaches maturity when bulbil reaches maturity it gets separated from parent plant and falls on the soil this bulbil get separated from parent plant and falls on the soil now what is on the soil bulbil once bulbil falls on the soil it develops adventitious roots see this statement carefully listen this statement carefully sir when bulbil is on parent plant does this bulbil bears any adventitious roots no when bulbil reaches maturity it gets separates from parent plant falls on the soil and it develops adventitious roots is this statements okay clear right now you tell me in case of diascoria bulbil is developed from which bird axillary bud developed from a vegetative bud sir where bulbil is present in diascoria bulbil is present in the axil of what leaf i am speaking about diascoria is it okay right therefore in which plant sir diascoria right bulbil bulbil developed bulbil developed from which bud sir bulbil developed from axillary bud it is developed from vegetative bud is it okay right and in diascoria where this bulbil is present in diascoria bulbil present where bulbil present in axil of leaf bulbil is present in the axil of what sir leaf from where that bulbil is developed from axillary bud that is from vegetative bud is this statements okay right this is concerned to which plant sir diascoria now go for agave and globa what are the two plant names agave and uh, globa agave and uh, globa right sir in agave and globa this is inflorescence axis what it is called as inflorescence axis what is another name for inflorescence axis peduncle what is another name for inflorescence axis peduncle peduncle therefore this blue line what it indicates sir it indicates peduncle inflorescence axis sir what are these structures called as bract yes or no the first class itself i told this word bract right now you tell me sir this is peduncle sir this is a bract sir what is this called as axil this is axil of what sir bract from the axil of bract what are developed flowers are developed from where axil of bract what are developed flowers are developed sir this is bract what is this one axil from this axil of bract what should come sir flower instead of flowers bulbils are developed what are developed sir bulbils are developed therefore what is this one bulbil is it okay right what is this one sir bulbil what is this one bulbil bulbil is this statements okay it means uh, 
on peduncle flowers are present as well as bulbils are present yes or no in case of agave and globa on peduncle what and what are present flowers are present bulbils are present sir flowers are used for which reproduction sir flowers are used for sexual reproduction yes or no what are used for sexual reproduction flowers are used for sexual reproduction whereas bulbils are used for which reproduction sir vegetative reproduction vegetative reproduction which reproduction sir vegetative reproduction bulbils are used for vegetative reproduction yes or no therefore in case of agave and globa in case of what and what sir agave and globa sir this inflorescence what is this one inflorescence is used for sexual reproduction and vegetative reproduction in case of which plants agave and globa therefore in case of which plant sir in case of agave and globa right inflorescence inflorescence uh, used for inflorescence used for which reproduction sir inflorescence is used for sexual reproduction as well as for vegetative reproduction inflorescence is used for sexual reproduction as well as vegetative reproduction in case of agave and globa is there any doubt now this agave americana this agave plant is commonly called as a century plant what is the common name of agave plant sir century plant what is the common name of uh, agave plant sir century plant it is called as century plant is it okay right now you tell me sir in case of agave and globa in case of what and what sir agave and globa bulbil is developed from floral bud bulbil is developed from floral bud and this bulbil is present in the axil of leaf uh, axil of bract it is present in the axil of bract sir in dioscorea bulbil is present in the axil of leaf whereas in agave and globa bulbil is present in the axil of what sir bracts is this statement okay right in agave and uh, globa right in agave and globa bulbil bulbil developed from floral bud which bud sir floral bud right in agave and globa bulbil bulbil present where it is present bulbil present in axil axil of what sir axil of bracts bulbils present in the axil of what sir bracts is this statements okay right now concerned to bulbils i am adding two more statements concerned to bulbils i am adding two more statements what sir vegetative bud it is developed either from vegetative bud or floral bud yes or no right sir vegetative bud or floral bud what they do is stores food materials stores uh, food materials and it develops into and uh, develops into condensed branches develops into what condensed branches is it okay sir what are these condensed branches called as develops into condensed branches called bulbils called as what sir bulbils is it okay next statement when bulbils reaches maturity when bulbils reaches maturity bulbils separates from parent plant bulbils uh, separates from 
parent plant and when falls on soil and when falls on what soil develops which roots adventitious roots is it okay right therefore bulbil is not with adventitious roots when it is on the plant therefore bulbils not with what adventitious right therefore bulbils uh, not with adventitious roots uh, when when they are on they are on what parent plant when they are on parent plant they are not with adventitious roots is it okay right therefore see these statements sir bulbil is developed either from vegetative bud or floral bud yes or no how this bulbil is developed sir vegetative bud or floral bud what it is doing it is storing food materials once it stores food materials this vegetative bud or floral bud develops into condensed branches that condensed branches we are calling as bulbils when this bulbils are on parent plant they are without adventitious roots when this bulbil reaches maturity they get separated from parent plant falls on the soil when bulbil falls on the soil it develops adventitious roots when bulbil falls on the soil it develops what sir adventitious roots and slowly that bulbil develops into an independent plant develops into an independent plant is this statements okay right now listen this statement sir aerial stems which stems sir aerial stems are also called as aerial stems are also called as a right epiterrarian epi terrarian epiterrarian stems epiterrarian stems is it okay right therefore aerial stems are also called as what sir epiterrarian stems epiterrarian stems is it okay right right we are discussing right uh, stem modifications sir stem modifications are of three types number 1 underground stem modification number 2 aerial stem modifications number 3 subaerial stem modifications subaerial stem modifications sir we completed a uh, right uh, underground stem modifications aerial stem modifications now we are going for subaerial stem modifications right now listen here sir what is the meaning of subaerial stem sir what is the meaning of subaerial stem in some weak stemmed plants in some weak stemmed plants in some weak stemmed plants right uh, stem is a uh, partly aerial stem is partly aerial and partly underground stem is partly aerial and partly underground such stem such stem is called as subaerial stem such stem is called as what sir subaerial stem see this statement carefully i am not saying all weak stemmed plants i am saying some weak stemmed plants in some weak stemmed plants if you see the stem part of the stem is aerial and part of the stem is underground such stems are called as what sir subaerial stems what are such stems called as a subaerial stems for example this is a surface of the soil what is this one surface of the soil this is a stem sir see this stem carefully 
part of the stem is underground part of the stem is aerial so can we call this stem as a subaerial stem yes therefore partly underground partly aerial such type of stems are called as what sir subaerial stems is it okay right what are such type of stems called as a subaerial stems right sir subaerial stem modifications are specialized for vegetative propagation subaerial stem modifications are specialized for what sir vegetative propagation this statement is important subaerial stem modifications subaerial stem modifications are specialized subaerial stem modifications are what sir specialized for what they are specialized for vegetative propagation or vegetative reproduction is this statement okay now listen here sir underground stem modifications are of how many types what i am speaking about underground stem modifications i am speaking about underground stem modifications sir underground stem modifications are of four types right first one is rhizome second one is corm third one is bulb okay and fourth one is stem tuber yes or no underground stem modifications are of four types sir this four types of underground stem modifications they are used for they are used for vegetative propagation they are used for vegetative reproduction but do underground stem modifications they are specialized for vegetative reproduction no underground stem modifications they are not only used for vegetative reproduction but stores food materials used for perniation protects stem from herbivorous animals grazing animals yes or no therefore underground stem modifications rhizome corm bulb stem tuber no doubt they are used for vegetative reproduction but underground stem modifications are not specialized for vegetative reproduction then which stem modifications are specialized for vegetative reproduction sir subaerial stem modifications are specialized for what sir vegetative reproduction now listen the question sir can you see subaerial stem modifications in all weak stemmed plants no i already wrote this statement in some weak stemmed plants yes or no therefore subaerial stem modification is it seen in all is it seen in all weak stemmed plants no therefore what sir subaerial subaerial stem modifications subaerial stem modifications uh, seen in some some what some weak stemmed plants seen in some weak stemmed plants but not in all weak stemmed plants but not in all what weak stemmed plants is it okay therefore seen in some weak stemmed plants but not in all weak stemmed plants sir we are discussing what subaerial stem modifications which modifications subaerial stem modifications sir subaerial stem modifications are of four types subaerial stem modifications are of four types right subaerial stem modifications are of how many types sir four types sir what are these four types of subaerial stem modifications number 1 runners runners number 2 stolons stolons right number 3 suckers suckers number 4 offsets runners stolons suckers offsets these are four types of subaerial stem modifications go for the first one what sir runners 
what it is runners sir here i am drawing oxalis oxalis plant oxalis is an example for runners right oxalis is an example for runners now sir we are discussing what sir runners now listen here in some weak stemmed plants in what sir in some weak stemmed plants uh, the weak stem see the weak stem creeps on the surface of the soil this is which stem weak stem this yellow one this weak stem it is creeping uh, what it is creeping on the surface of the soil it is creeping on the surface of the soil and bears uh, adventitious roots at each node see this diagram carefully bears adventitious roots at each node therefore rooted at each node yes or no and bears a leaf this is not flower it is looking like a flower but is it a flower no it is what sir leaf therefore each node bears adventitious roots on its lower surface is it okay bears adventitious roots on its lower surface and uh, leaf on its uh, which surface sir upper surface is this statement okay therefore in some weak stemmed plants uh, the weak stem creeps on the surface of the soil and rooted at each node at each node it bears roots rooted at each node is this statement okay sir this is node this is node sir what is this one internode when this internode breaks when this internode is going to break this node can behave as an independent plant because this node is having roots as well as a leaf sir this is node this is node what is this one internode when this internode breaks this node can develop into an independent plant because this node is having leaf as well as what sir roots is this statement okay sir what is this one this is the weak stem which is creeping on the surface of the soil yes or no sir this weak stem goes on growing on the surface of the soil and spreads to the new niches new places when this uh, younger part of the stem goes on spreading to the new areas this older part goes on dying therefore older part goes on dying younger part goes on spreading to the new places new niches is this statement okay right we are discussing what sir runners what it is runners therefore what are the statements in this runners in some weak stemmed plants in some weak stemmed plants the weak stem weak stem creeps weak stem creeps on the soil surface and rooted where at each node is this statement okay the weak stem is creeping on the surface of the soil and this weak stem is rooted at uh, each node right such stem 
called a runner what is such term called as a runner such terms are called as runners is it okay right uh, what is happening to this weak stem sir anger part of a runner that is weak stem what it does goes on goes on spreading to new niches new niches places and older part and older part dies is this statement okay therefore older part is going to die whereas a new there is anger part is going to spread uh, to new niches that is to new places is this statements clear is it okay right sir we are discussing what sir runners now go for examples of runners examples of runners examples of runners underground stems of underground stems of a grass right and strawberry strawberry right underground stems of grass grass best example cynodon dob grass d o o b dob grass cynodon sir strawberry comes under genus fragaria strawberry comes under genus what sir fragaria sir for each plant a scientific name will be yes sir no botanical name in that scientific name what is the first word genus this is strawberry comes under genus fragaria is it okay right next example i am writing saberial stems of oxalis saberial stems of what sir oxalis therefore what are the examples of runners sir underground stems of grasses and strawberry saberial stems of oxalis be careful this is the diagram of oxalis should be careful this is a diagram of what sir oxalis this is a diagram of oxalis right in case of oxalis this each one is one leaflet what is this each one called as sir leaflet now you tell me here how many leaflets are there sir three leaflets are there therefore it becomes a trifoliate what it becomes sir trifoliate compound leaf what it becomes sir trifoliate compound leaf therefore in case of oxalis you are going to see trifoliate compound leaf trifoliate compound leaf is present in the case of oxalis is it okay right we completed the first one what it is runners now go for the second one what sir stolons right go for the second one what it is stolons right cover stolons now see here sir this is a surface of the soil right soil surface okay sir this is the main stem sir what is this one main stem these are roots okay now listen this statement sir we are discussing stolons right in some weak stemmed plants in some weak stemmed plants uh, 
a lateral branch which branch lateral branch is developed from base of the main stem see i already told you that this is the main stem right from base of the main stem what is developed sir a lateral branch is developed initially this lateral branch is growing aerially yes or no after some time this lateral branch bends uh, down or just bends down and touches the surface of the soil see this statement sir this is which branch sir lateral branch how this lateral branch is growing aerially after some time this branch uh, it is a uh, arches it is a uh, bending downwards and this branch it is growing in which manner sir it is growing obliquely downwards in positively geotrophic manner yes or no right uh, sir this branch uh, arches bends down and growing in obliquely downwards manner in positively geotrophic manner okay and touches the surface of the soil and then again raises up is it okay sir wherever this branch came in contact with the soil it has developed adventitious roots sir developed which roots sir adventitious roots wherever it has came in contact with the soil it has developed which roots sir adventitious roots now see this diagram carefully sir how this branch is growing the lateral branch which grows obliquely downwards in which manner positively geotrophic manner this branch is called as a stolon what is this branch called as stolon sir when this stolon gets separates from parent plant this stolon can develop into an independent plant because it is bearing the roots bearing the leaves so can develop into an independent plant is it okay right therefore lateral branch developed from where base of the main stem right uh, grows uh, aerially for some time and then bends uh, downwards right and how it is growing obliquely downwards in positively geotrophic manner and touches the surface of the soil wherever it is coming in contact with soil it bears adventitious roots this obliquely downward growing branch is called as what sir stolon when this stolon gets separated from parent plant it can develop into an independent plant is it okay right in some weak stemmed plants in some weak stemmed plants ah uh, what is happening a lateral branch a lateral branch is developed a lateral branch is developed uh, from where sir a lateral branch is developed from base of main stem base of what sir main stem grows uh, how it grows grows uh, aerially for some time and then what happens and then arches arches means bends arches uh, downwards bends uh, downwards and grows how obliquely in which manner in positively geotrophic manner and bears what and bears uh, adventitious roots when when it comes in contact when it comes in contact with the soil is this statements okay see this statement carefully from base of the main stem a lateral branch is developed initially this lateral branch is growing aerially then it arches that is bends downwards 
and grows a house or obliquely in which manner positively geotrophic manner and bears what sir adventitious roots when it comes in contact with the soil is this statement okay what is this now called as sir stolon is it okay right this this obliquely downward growing branch which bears what adventitious roots which bears adventitious roots uh, when comes in contact with soil that is when comes in contact uh, with soil that is when comes in contact with soil is called what it is called as stolon therefore stolon means obliquely downward growing branch bearing adventitious roots when it comes in soil contact what is that is called as stolon now go for examples of what sir stolons go for example of stolons right first one is nerium nerium okay second one is a uh, jasmine what is the second one sir jasmine third one is a uh, rose okay and the next one is mint m i n t mint nothing but mentha mentha pudina bolte na vai chahiye right mint mentha right therefore nerium jasmine rose mint all these are examples for what sir stolons in 10th class you read one statement layering yes or no that layering depends on stolon principle what depends on stolon principle layering depends on stolon principle layering depends uh, on what sir stolon principle is it okay right therefore layering depends on what sir stolon principle is it okay right therefore in under in subaerial stem modifications in subaerial stem modifications we completed first two that is runners and uh, stolons right remaining two we'll discuss tomorrow is it okay right thank you